something like this. twisted but I just I just I just want to judge it up a little bit and give myself a little bougie treatment so today I'm gonna go get my nails done and I'm also gonna get my hair braided before I leave I'm gonna be bleaching my eyebrows because they look atrocious it's giving salt and pepper <laughs> and I don't like that so, why is she agree <laughs> my appointment for my nails is at 11 30 it's currently 8 39 so I've got some time but Ever since I've been in New York, I've been kind of getting a little lost in the train system, so to make sure I don't get... Hey, it's only when I'm going to Manhattan. since I've got back to my building. I just fell asleep because one thing about me, if I'm tired, I'm knocking out. But I decided I'm gonna give you guys a haul of the things that I got. Um, so first I swung by Tesso. Um, I initially went there only for two things, sunscreen and face masks, like for skincare. But they were kind of pricey and I'm waiting to get paid because I want to get my hair done. Oh uh, yeah, let me also update you on that. Obviously my hair isn't braided like I planned on doing today. So yeah, I got my nails done around like 2, 10 p.m. And I was like about an hour away from home. I was also hungry because I like completely forgot to eat breakfast before I left. Something that I need to stop doing. So yeah, I decided to get food um, at Popeye's so I ate. And by the time I was done eating, it was like three something. So by the time I leave my lo the location that I was at and get back, I, w I, I just wouldn't have been able to get my hair done because on average for braids, it takes like six, five hours. And that's if the person's a fast braider. And I wasn't sure whether like the braiding store that I was gonna go to, it was gonna be like one person braiding my hair or like multiple people braiding my hair. So I don't wanna risk it and like show up at like 4 p.m. They close at seven, three hours. That's just not gonna work. All right, now I'm gonna give you guys a haul. So the first thing I got was the Viral Judy Doll um, Shimmer or Highlighter. You've probably seen this all over your For You page because it like blew up on TikTok or like the East Asian makeup side of TikTok a while back. 
This is not the exact one that like everyone and their mom was like freaking out over. They're pretty similar. But yeah, I decided to get this because it's just really pretty shimmer. And I've been looking for shimmer glitter makeup that wasn't kind of like too fake or artificial looking if you get me. Because I don't know what it is. But when it comes to like American makeup, the glitters are just like very plasticky, right? It's giving like doll makeup, which uh-uh, I don't like that. So I got this one. It's really pretty. Like look at that shimmer. Like it literally looks like it's glowing from within my skin and i'm shocked that it even like matches on my skin because obviously it's east asian makeup but like, these things are not made with my skin tone in mind but i really like it okay next thing i got at tesso was sunscreen this is like the best sunscreen of all time to me personally um as someone who i don't know okay so i'm gonna give you guys a little backstory as to like how i started using sunscreen so i like many black people fell victim to that whole narrative that ooh, black people don't need to wear sunscreen especially if you're like melanated and dark skin because you know our melanin naturally protects us from the sun. So I was like very, very much in shackles about not wearing sunscreen. I was walking around, literally taking in those bright ass dangerous sun UV rays, slowly killing my skin until recently I like learned we're not immune to getting skin cancer. So if you're watching this and you're melanated or you're dark skinned, please for the love of God, get you some sunscreen and start wearing it because you do not want to like get skin cancer. Like I'm that's not even funny. I'm not even joking about that. It took a while for me to find something that works for me because one, once again, my skin tone was not a consideration when it came to most sunscreens because I put it on and I looked like I was casket ready. So I made it a mission to try to find sunscreen that worked for me. American sunscreens, unfortunately, I've kind of like given up from the, on them because just trying out like three, I just got tired of wasting my money. So I was like, let me look into East Asian sunscreen because I heard really good things about it. So like I did a lot of digging. So one thing about me is like i hate wasting money or feeling like i wasted money especially if i'm like buying something like i can spend money on clothes and stuff but other things i want to make sure when i buy it i'm gonna utilize it so yeah it's like jelly well not jelly consistency it's literally like water so yeah yeah it's literally like water it has no fragrance it does not burn your eyes which was a big one for me it has no white cast that's like another important factor so I will mention when you first put it on and you like rub it in because I put on a lot You probably see in like my morning skincare like when I do my morning skincare on camera I look crazy but the thing is like when you put it on at first you gotta blend it in And after you blend it in you kind of let it sit on your face And then I don't know what it does but like after like a minute or two it just like kind of fades out itself But yeah this is what it looks like literally Yeah and after you put it on it gives you like this beautiful glow from Tesso, I got White Rabbit Candy. I love these so much. They are so good. Like, ah, uh, so there was an H Mart like a few blocks away from the Tesso. But I got myself some soy milk. If you know me in real life, you know that I love soy milk. I got these because, funny enough, when I was living in Ghana as a kid and I was going to school, and yeah, this lady used to sell soy milk, and this literally tastes like my childhood. Like anytime. I drink this, it just smacks me right back to Ghana. It's literally like nostalgia in a bottle. Oh my God, and it reminds me of my childhood. Ugh, that's crazy. because it's had the chance to kind of like dry now. But yeah, this is what the hair is giving. It is so pretty, I love it. I'm still in shock that this took only four hours. No, she finished all this by like 3.50, like adding the curly pieces too, and you know that takes a long time, so.
It's key. I don't know if it's like key. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm like... Or I could just like go sporty, kind of. And then... Yeah, on the side, they just took it into the skirt. Okay, guys, so continuing the vlog video, I thought it'd be nice if I just got ready and went out um because it is juneteenth weekend and this is my first time just living in the city and although i have been like exploring and going out here and there i haven't really been doing any like i guess like actual socializing and stuff like that not only that too but i'd like to go to some like predominantly black events i haven't done my makeup in a while so for the makeup look i was thinking of doing something more than i usually do kind of something like this so my skincare routine is not really that fancy schmancy or like that crazy um i kind of find like a good one that works for me and that's what i've been using lately for like the past almost six months now i really like it because at the end of the day my skin just feels fresh and moisturized and i can even just like do this and like head out without wearing makeup and i just look glowy and like refreshed yeah, anyways, as I was saying, yeah, I'm a very much perfectionist when it comes to just my videos in general. And I think at first glance, that sounds like a good thing because it's like, oh, you want your things to be really good. But it's also kind of a curse because I just get very annoying when it comes to my own work. Like, I don't know, when I'm like collaborating and working with other people, I'm not like this, but I'm just like very hard on myself. I'm very picky about things. And not only that, too. I feel like when I'm editing, all the ideas are just like rushing in and I feel the urge to execute every single one of them rather than like rather than like saving them or like writing them down. I can utilize them for future videos or content, but I don't know why. I just, yeah, so that's what's been happening and that can kind of lead to burnout because it's like you're trying to do everything and you're only one person and it's not really the smartest thing to do. That's something that I'm like trying to work on just moving forward. In terms of other things, my summer has been going really well, really nice. I'm like very, very happy in the place that I'm in right now. Um, there are a few things here and there that I kind of like want to improve on and work on. But honestly, I've just been like pretending those like kind of little problems here and there don't exist because I'm just trying to have like a good summer. But then again, I kind of need to like think about them because if not, they're going to come back to bite me in the ass later. And by later, I mean literally fall semester. And this is like in regards to just like school. I think I mentioned like in previous videos, hopefully they're up by now once again. <laughs> but in prior videos, I mentioned just like how bad I did last semester. I just was not really mentally like checked in with school. Like I just wanted the semester to be done over with. Um, unfortunately, I just did not have the motivation to go to classes, to keep up with like assignments and stuff. Like the first month I was like on it, I was on track and everything. And I even like posted literally a vlog, I think of like my first week. And yeah, it was going pretty well, pretty nice. But then I don't know what happened. I just, I don't know. I just, I just wasn't feeling it anymore. So yeah, I'm just not gonna repeat myself because I feel like I keep repeating myself. But basically to make a long story short, um, just academically, I need to make sure that I like strain things out so that I'm like set to graduate on time. But yeah, aside from that, and still speaking of like school and college, I'm gonna be moving on campus next semester which if you've been keeping up with me on this channel you know that i've been living at home with my parents for like the past three years in college so i'm a commuter i literally commute to school i go to classes and then i come back which is something that had been on my mind for like a long time because i felt like i was missing out on the college experience and to further go on that when i say college experience i'm not talking about like parties and like i guess like all the like hyped up parts that like most people think of when they mention the college experience when i talk about the college experience i mean just like making new friends meeting new people and creating something with them which is something that i felt like i was missing out on because going into college um i'm class of 2020 high school so covid impacted firstly <laughs> my senior year of high school and then like a year and a half of my college experience so yeah i made the decision to go in state because of covid because i was like there's no point of me going out of state while i'm at home and paying out of state tuition and i wouldn't be paying out of state tuition i'd be taking out loans which is something that scares me it scares me a lot and i was just like no but yeah with my college experience i just like felt like i was literally like a few minutes away from the college campus but i was like very much not involved um in terms of like outside of academics like just like going to organizations and clubs and stuff like that because unfortunately you know african parents you know very strict 
you know, thinking that they're doing it for the sake of you and like keeping you safe. But in hindsight, it's kind of like holding you back. All right, so I get a lot of questions on how I do my bleach brows. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do them really quickly. So first thing I do, as you saw, um, I just laid my eyebrow hairs back with this L Clear Mascara. I either use this or I use Got To Be Blue. And then next, I go on with this Beauty Tree Concealer Palette. I got this in like 8th grade, so this is very ancient. Yeah, I use this and I use this kind of like yellowish shade as well as the one below it. And I kind of like mix these two together. So yeah, when I go into my actual eyebrow, um, I'm gonna draw kind of like hair stroke. Okay, so like I mentioned, I want to leave as soon as possible and get to the event. It's already 6.30, so I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna finish getting ready. Okay, update. Here's what my makeup looks like. Alright, here's my outfit. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm trying to go for like a sporty but like feminized touch type look. Here are some details on the outfit, my jewelry, I layered them. So I have on this butterfly choker that my mom got me, as well as this necklace that my mom also got me. This one, I recently just got this one from Etsy. I love this, it's so cute. As well as another necklace that my mom got me. And then for the jewelry, I tried to find my other ring, but I couldn't, but this is what it's looking like. And unfortunately, my gold bracelet broke, so I can't wear it, but I switched it up a little bit with the silver one. And here's some detail on the makeup. I love it. It's like very simple at the same time, like add some flair. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and tuning in i hope you enjoyed my little transformation kind of spontaneous i just wanted to make myself feel a little bit pampered and bougie although it kind of broke the bank but i love it and i'm very grateful that i was able to do this as well yeah i'm gonna head out now because i'm very late <laughs> as always um i'll see you next time Ooh.